Hi everyone, and welcome back to Extra Central. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to make ultra low relief buildings. So this is one that I made a while ago. Um, so in this video, we're going to be showing you how I get to this stage. Now keep in mind, this is nowhere near done. Um, I will probably do a part two. Um, this will be part one. Um, part one, I'll be showing you how to make what you see here. And then part two, we'll be finishing it off. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you guys have got any comments and suggestions or feedback, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Okay, so the reason why I'm making these into ultra low relief buildings is because there's not much space up here. Now, if anyone's wondering why I've got these sheets over the layout, as you can see here, garage is a right mess at the moment um because we're currently renovating one of our bathrooms so uh, that's why i've covered the layouts basically so i can't make these buildings to uh, full size because try and do this one-handed as you can see there i don't know yeah it goes over the path so we need it to be like that so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make what you see here so let's get started okay so the basis for this kit is actually the metcalf low relief red brick terrace house fronts so that's basically this so i'm going to be showing you what parts we're going to be needing from this kit and i'm going to show you how you can create this so I'm going to get this thing opened and I'll show you what parts you're going to need. Okay, so the following parts from this kit that you're going to need are this part here. Um, the windows obviously, but you get a selection here. I don't know how well you can see those because it's clear. But you get quite a good selection of windows. Um, you will need this part here. Um, you'll need, well... These are optional. You can either choose from these doors here, I've got it upside down, and choose from these doors here, or these ones here, or you can use, or in my build, I've used the um, curtains, but you, you can also use blinds as well, really. So that's pretty much all you're going to need from the kit, and um, basically everything I've just shown is pretty much what's on here really so um yeah without further ado let's get started okay so i'm going to start cutting out the parts now and what you're going to need is just a knife and also i forgot to mention earlier you're going to need these parts as well for the windows so um yeah let's get started with the cutting out shall we <laughs> Okay, so it's pretty much about everything cut out. So we got, of course, the main walls of the house. We got our doors of choice. So I'm going with a brown and a white one. We've got, of course, all our window pieces cut out. We've got all our window and door things, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything you need. Oh, and of course, the back here as well. So we've got all that cut out. So, um... Now it's just a case of putting it all together really, so I'm going to take you step by step on how I do that. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing the, um, the clear glazing to the window things, whatever you want to call these. And to do that, you could normally use like contact adhesive or something. But in this case, I'm going to be using spray adhesive. And this actually works quite well. Um, I did it on these ones here and it works pretty good. Uh, I saw the spray adhesive method used by Luke Towen over at Boulder Creek, so I thought, yeah, why not give that a go? And so far, it's actually been working pretty well, so um, I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so here we are, all ready to go. 
Now off camera I've just given this a good shaking so um, I guess all we need to do now is just spray them up really. Now you don't want to hold back on this. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to use the tweezers and we're just going to get it out into a different area. Get them out of the pool of spray adhesive. So what we'll do is let those go tacky for a bit then we'll apply the glazing. Okay so I've just let these go all tacky now so I guess all we need to do is line them up and I guess. So we're going to piece here hopefully you can see that okay and then I'm just gonna there we are push that down oops oh, it's all sticking to me now there we are perfect door no glue residue at all excellent so let's do another one I... There we are, another perfect one. So I'm gonna do these off camera and I'll put you back on. And there we go, all done. So now what we can do is we can take these pieces and then glue the doors to them. So I'm gonna get the PVA set up and um, you'll have a little watch of me doing that. Okay, so we've got our door here, we've got our PVA there. So let's use a toothpick and get some PVA. Uh, start putting it on there like that. Now you don't really need much PVA when doing this job. This PVA is quite a strong glue. There we go. And then um, now we take any one of these. This one's been a bit bent. And then find the camera. And there we go. That's pretty much that one done. So uh, I'll do the same to the other one and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so we're now going to start attaching the windows to the main part of the house. So, um, we're going to do is just like with the doors over there, it's going to get a bit of PVA. Now keep in mind guys, you don't have to just use PVA, you can use whatever glue you like really. But I'm just using PVA as that's what I've got to hand, so might as well use it. And then, just like with the doors, don't know how well you can see that, just line it up carefully. Yeah, it looks about right. And then just push it down. So I'm going to do the same to the other one, and I'll put you back on. So uh, yeah, there we go. That's kind of what we are after. Um, now of course, don't forget to do the same with these. So I'm going to do those off camera and I'll uh, put you back on. And also, um, if you notice here how there's, this bit hangs down lower than this, uh, you just need to cut that bit off. So, so that way it um, sits nice and flat basically. So I'll do cutting of this off camera then I'll put you back on. 
So uh, there we go, that's what we want to see and I just cut the bits that are overhanging on the sides here so that's the kind of thing we want to see so now what we're going to do um, we're going to do some of the curtains so let's get on with that Okay, excellent. Now that we got all the curtains on, we can sort out the backboard. So the black behind the, um, the curtains and stuff. So for that, I'm um, going to need this piece here. So um, yeah, we're going to cut this down to fit this. And uh, we're going to put like a black backing on this. So I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so got our sheet of card all cut up and that fits on the back of this perfectly and also Got some black paper here Now I'm going to glue this to the back here and then it will go on the back of the main bit of house Now keep in mind you can use paint, but I much rather use my black paint for other things so I find this to be a nice, quick, easy method. So uh, you can have a little watch of me doing that now. Okay, there we go. We're gonna let that um, dry now. Um, just gonna let it dry for maybe a few minutes. And whilst we're waiting for that to dry, um, we're gonna do a bit more to this and I'll show you what we're gonna do to this next. Okay, so the next thing we, we are going to need to do is we need to put the backboard on. Now what we need to do to this, um, I don't know how well you can see, but if I do that kind of angle, see the door is slightly higher than, it sits slightly higher than the windows. So what we're going to need to do is we need to put some spaces. I uh, no idea how well you can see that. Um, where the toothpick is pointing is where the spaces are. So we're going to need to put some of those on to um, get an even spacing between the backboards and the windows. And also, by raising the, by putting the backboard a little bit further away, I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but it kind of looks a bit like, I don't know really, like the windows are not touching the backboard. I don't really know how well the camera can pick it up, but trust me, the windows aren't touching the backboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some spaces on there. And for that, we're going to use this bit, which was originally the backboard. So, you know, we're not wasting any materials. So let's cut it up and let's glue it on, shall we? Okay, so now that's all done. Um, we're going to let that dry. Since um, I've let, since doing that, um, the backboard is now all dry and ready to go. So once that's all dry, we'll stick the backboard on, and we'll be almost there, really. Okay, so I'll let those dry for a bit. So now we can stick on this backboard. So what we're going to do? We're going to put some PVA all the way around there, and then down there and that will get this backboard stuck on. Alright, so i uh, got that backboard on now, so when it's dry it's going to kind of look a bit like this. So um, yeah, um, we're going to let that dry and uh, we'll finish it up there for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you perhaps learnt something from it. And um, part two to this video will hopefully follow soon where I show you how I 
strengthen up the back and also sort out the roof. So um, yeah, that's it from me. Part two will follow soon. Um, in the next video, I've got a scratch build to make or it will be concerning the Mornington Railway. So uh, either one of those two videos will be next. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone.